Let's continue to look through some of the stories that are moving markets this morning. UBS, they are reportedly set to reduce the overall workforce by between 20 to 30 percent once the integration of Credit Suisse is complete. All the while, prosecutors in Switzerland, they're opening up an investigation into the UBS group's takeover of troubled Credit Suisse. Now, what's important to know in terms of some of the figures, uh, as many as 11,000, it seems like, employees uh, in Switzerland will be terminated there. Um, and combined, these companies had about 125,000 people that at the end of last calendar year in 2022, um, 30% of that roughly in Switzerland, though. Yeah, just some big picture thinking about this deal. It's reminiscent of some of the big mergers and acquisitions that happened in the global financial crisis in 2008, roughly 15 years ago. Back then, we were talking about Bear Stearns. Eventually, it would be Lehman Brothers. And there were banks involved, too, Washington Mutual. Well, this is unfolding overseas. So now we're seeing UBS, uh, this big uh, Swiss bank, absorbing Credit Suisse, kind of the redheaded stepchild uh, of the, well, at least of European banks there, uh, beleaguered for a number of reasons. But there are a lot of global inf in, in, implications for this, not the least of which is that UBS um, is going to have now a huge footprint in Latin America. I was just reading one side story, and this is one of many. Um, UBS in Brazil, $150 billion worth of wealth management. Guess what? Credit Suisse has $80 billion. That brings them to $230 billion. That's going to trounce J.P. Morgan, uh, which was the number one at $180 billion. So the big get bigger and the small, well, sometimes they just go out of business as we've seen with the regional banks here in the U.S. A little bit of apples to orange, oranges commentary there, but I think uh, overall somewhat fair, um, if you'd agree. Yeah, I, I would. And just to add a little bit of a note on the investigation that we were mentioning a moment ago as well, uh, the Office of the Attorney General in Switzerland, they are opening that investigation, and it, it seems that uh, federal prosecutors there, they were looking for national and regional authorities uh, to also investigate this deal uh, and, and the consummation of it. Um, uh, of course, years uh, year after year, and we had talked about this even as the deal was going forward. And, and prior to that, Credit Suisse has had its own kind of yearly um, not just tumultuous event, but some type of event that we've yeah. had to cover year after Yearly, year. Yearly, but right. unscheduled. unscheduled. Unscheduled, exactly. There you go. Um, and so uh, within the broader banking turmoil and banking concern that had ensued, Credit Suisse uh, was once again found itself um, just thrown into that given some of the mismanagement that had taken place there. Uh, UBS swooping in, getting kind of a fire sale of a deal at the end of the day. Yes. Um, and at the end of the day now, Switzerland authorities also looking to investigate this even further here.